Hey guys, welcome back to some more Guild of Guardians. In today's video, we wanted to look at a way to get some free souls. Now, overall, when it comes to Guardians themselves, getting souls is super, super difficult, especially when you're looking to enlighten, because right here, we need 10,000 of these Keeper Souls. But going down even our list right here is 8,000 of the Redeemer Souls. Down here, we do need um, 5,000 of the Imperial Souls. Getting these souls, if you're sacrificing epic heroes, you only get 100. If you're doing legendary heroes, you only get 500, which means again, you need a lot of these. Now you can get them in the shop, but you only get 1000 every single week, which means if I was just literally getting these from the shop, it would take me five weeks to get those 5,000 souls, just buying them out as long as I have the currency to buy them out. Now, of course, looking at the currency, I wanna make sure that you guys do see and you know where these come from. So going into our store over here, and then of course looking, I believe it is the arena store. No, maybe it's the guild store, or no, endless store. Um, items, rush store, it is the rush store. There we go. So it is the rush store, and they are right here. As you can see, we bought these out two days ago. Um, you get five packages of uh, 200 each, so you do get your thousand. This is the only place you can buy souls as of right now, but, they are going to give us some free souls. So I wanna hop over here and I wanna share this with you. Boom, hopping over here, collection, um, Guardian Collection Rewards. Now it seems like every time I hop in Discord, every, t every day that I get into the game, there's a lot of new stuff coming, there's a lot of content. July 3rd we know is going to be a big day, but uh, Guardian Collection Rewards promo, that is right. There is going to be a promotion as we can see right here. Are you a proud owner of eight rare Core 1 Radiant Guardians? Do you also own one rare Founder Guardian? Here's your chance to collect the rewards. Let's check out the promo details. Now, as you can see, they're giving us 400 soul boxes, which I would absolutely love having those soul boxes. So of course, own all eight rare Core Radiant 1 Guardians, which you can see the picture here. Those are the heroes we regularly summon. Now, the Core Ones are the ones that we usually get from those regular summons. And of course, the rare ones are usually the ones that I sacrifice, so I gotta make sure that I stop sacrificing those. And as of snapshot date, July 14th, and then of course, reward distribution, July 22nd. But the one rare Founder Radiant Guardian means that you're going to have to have one rare Founder NFT um, to get those, which we're gonna look at in just a minute. So own all eight uh, rare core Radiant One Guards, and then of course, the Founder Guard, by the date of the snapshot, every eligible player will receive 400 soul boxes. So how can you collect all the Radiant Guardians from the Guardian Collection and Reward promo? To complete the collection, you have multiple options. Ascend your Guardians to Radiant Guardians using seals. Now, do they all have to be Radiant? All eight Rare Core 1 Radiant Guardians. I missed that originally. So you do need to have right here all eight Rare car Core 1 Radiant Guardian, so they do have to be Radiant as well as the one rare founder, Radiant Guardian. So again, you're gonna have to use some of those Ascension Seals. If you're free to play, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to get these souls. Um, you're gonna be kind of out. So of course, you can take the Guardian right here. It is charging you 13 right here to make the Guardian Radiant. And then of course, you can buy them at Eerie's store. So looking at this, looking at Eerie's store, this is way, way, way cheaper if you're buying any amount of seals. This is the cheapest way to use Guild of Guardian tokens to buy the seals. This is by far the absolute cheapest way to buy them. If you're buying them through the Google Play Store, if you're buying them in the Apple Store, um, they are a lot more expensive if you're buying them. This is the way to get them. If you're getting them, um, definitely get them out of the shop. So what you have to do is essentially what I do is go to Coinbase, send money to MetaMask. MetaMask, I um, layer swap down to my Immutable X wallet. And from there, we can use them in the Eerie Store. We just have to swap for the Guild of Guardian tokens, but that is how I'm doing it. I don't know if there's an easier way, but that's how I have been doing it. Now, of course, you can also purchase Radiant Guardians on the secondary market, which is Token Trove. So we're gonna look at Token Trove in just a minute. So I can show you the Radiant Guardians that we do have over there. And then of course, down here, so soul boxes are bundles of 10 soul uh, faction souls. When a player receives a soul box, they can pick which faction they want. So getting 400 boxes like we've seen right here. So 400 soul boxes, 10 each, is going to give you 4,000 souls out of there, which is awesome. Because again, they're very, very hard to get. Now faction souls are the in-game resource to increase the Guardian Enlightenment. 
And of course, the Enlightenment doesn't have any effect in the Radiance. You can use it for the regular Guardians in there if you are using these souls. Radiant Guardian is the term to identify the NFT Guardian. Then of course, the seals, you can buy them in Google Play, you can buy them in Apple, and you can buy them at Erie Store, which is the cheapest way to do it. So what are the Core 1 Series Guardians? Again, Core 1 Series Guardians refers to Guardians that are available by pulling through Summoning Stones. So I'm gonna have to build those out. The rear Core 1 Guardian Series are right here, as you can see. These are the ones that we have to keep. What are the Founder Radiant Guardians? How do we get them? So the Founder Radiant Guardians are exclusive digital collectible minted NFTs, which again, I'm gonna hop over to Token Trove and we will check this out as well. So looking over at, I believe, um, it should be right over here. Boom, there is my Token Trove. So looking here, so let's go ahead and reset this. And I was kind of looking, so it says to own, oh, I, I, we gotta go back. I'm gonna have to hop out of here. I'm gonna have to hop back into, there we go, back into Token Trove. But looking here, so we are looking for a rare, and then of course, down in the series, we are looking for a founder guardian. So we need a rare hero, we need a founder, which of course, looking at Jermaine right here, it is $4.32 to buy Jermaine, meaning that you're gonna have to purchase some. Now, when you look at the four series, the generation and the core, we can still get, we can still mint. Early adopters and the founders, you cannot get, that is right. You cannot get them. This is the only place that you can get them. So we're gonna have to pick up a copy just like of Jermaine. Um, and I think these prices are probably gonna go up a little bit just because again, we know that they are NFTs. So even looking in here, I'm not sure if I have anything in here to buy one, but let's see if it'll go in there. Yeah, there, there was an error. So I think I gotta reload a couple things. But again, if you wanna pick up a rare founder NFT, which is exactly what it says right here, we need a rare founder NFT which is right here, one rare founder Radiant Guardian, which of course is the, the um, NFT or the Radiant Guardian. So we're gonna pick up one of those. Then of course, I'm gonna have to get some seals and I have to make sure that all eight of those rare core Radiant One Guardians, which of course is in the game. Like they said earlier, when we look at Guild of Guardians and looking specifically at those heroes, if we go in here and we search by the rarity level, we can actually see that with the rarity levels of some of these guardians of the core one guardians, which I don't even know if I have any, I've been saving a lot of them as of lately. But as you look through here, guys, making sure again, that we have this is a core one guardian when I do the ascension, which I have enough in here. Let me make sure this is one of the heroes before we go ahead and do the ascension, because I know a lot of players kind of question. So in here, um, let me actually just swap this out. And there we go. So I can see it on my other screen right now. I do run dual monitors over here and I do play this on blue stacks, but I wanna make sure again that we're running and we're getting one of these kind of built out because I don't think it's any epic. I think it's the regular ones. So I think it is the regular ones. Let's do one or two summons and see we have 10. Yeah, let's do two summons in here and see what heroes we get. Because remember, it's rare. It is not the epic heroes. It is the rare heroes. So it is the blue heroes. As you can see with here, the blue, um, we did get two of our epic ones in there. But summon number two gives us no legendaries, but that's okay because we have the epic ones. And again, the snapshot is gonna be taken, I believe it said July 14th. But I remember it was July 14th. So let's see the ones that we have down here. Now, again, we are looking at some of the blue, because we are looking at the rare guardians, not the elite. So here is Okpo, which it shows right here. Okpo is one that we need. So I'm gonna lock this one. And then in the ascension, you can see it's gonna take us 18 seals. We are gonna ascend this one, boom. It's gonna go ahead and do our little clock. This of course is gonna make our NFT, our radiant guardian, which means boom, there we go. He is ascended. So that is one that we need. Now we need what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, looking here, there's Herc, which this is another one I'm gonna go ahead and lock. Looking at Fruila, Fruila is another one that I'm gonna have to lock. We have Zol is on this list, so I think it might be all of them. That's in here, Anaconda, that one is there. But two is on here. And then of course, who else do we got? Ren, uh, Ren is not on here. Ren is one, oh, because they're white. So even looking here, uh, Zoe or Zedekus is in here, in here. So again, sacrifice, we're sacrificing the common, but we're saving the rare. So we'll actually get rid of these. So let me run down this list real quick and see what we got. Cause again, I'm gonna have to get some more Ascension seals out of here. But looking at the rare heroes, 
coming down to the bottom and here we go. So again, we have what, um, Andorica is the first one, which is right here. So we have Andorica, um, Batu, which is the second one. So that is two. Uh, Fruilla, which we do have right up here. That gives us three. Herc, which is, I believe, right up here, which is four. We need Okbo, Okabu, that is five. We need um, talk to Yummer and Zol. So the other ones we do not have. Well, there is Zol. So Zol again is locked. So we have Zol. So we need um, Uktin and we need um, Olimar, it looks like, are, are the two that we are missing out of here. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have to get a couple more. Let's hop in and do another summon. I, I want to try to just lock these couple down. Um, that way I don't have to worry about it. So in here, Okpo, Okpo. There's Okpo Doro. There's Ren Ren. We didn't. We got a Flix. No, we didn't get any. We don't have enough for another summon. I'm gonna have to save. I'm gonna have to save those two um to get another summon in there. But again, there's two. We need Octon, and then we do also need um Yelmar. So even if we go to the Guardian decks. We can run down here because I know we've gotten them before, which it might be this robot. Yep, there's Octon. So we're missing a copy of Octon and then we're missing um, Yelmar, which is right, I believe right, uh, no. And as you can see, they are the core one heroes. Um, where's Elmar? Do we not have a copy or have we not seen the copy? I'm wondering if down here, if we have a rare hero that we haven't found. Show me, um, Akris, Jermaine, we're looking for Yalmar, unless I'm totally missing, I might be totally missing Yalmar. Again, these are getting down to Strider. Yeah, I'm not seeing Yalmar, unless again, I might be totally missing Yalmar. Um, let's see, because that is that would be the last one that we need, is that Yalmar. There we go, so we got Okpo. There we go, we got Farilla, we got Zol. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out what hero, but that'll be the last one that we need. So again, guys, it's gonna be well worth it, especially if you're putting anything into this game to get 4,000 free souls. Um, that will be awesome as well as everything else we have coming. So all right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.